So here is the first pocket and so cute. I just absolutely love the, this idea and it just brings this back. And so you'll be able to see this when this is open. So I just think that was the cat's meow. <laughs> so now I'm going to take you through how I did it. Uh, I've got all my pieces and parts. I have been using the yellow to um, make little uh, hinges on my pockets. Uh, just another way of adding a little bit of brightness, but it's it's not really noticeable because I am keeping it back behind the blue or, you know, right lined up with the blue. But um, if, you know, if they're looking at it sideways, they can see just a little touch, a little hint of yellow. But that's totally up to you if you want to do that or not. Okay, so the first thing that I am doing here is figuring out where I'm going to want my pocket. And then let's see if this is going to be long enough. Yes. So this one's good. This is a good length. It's going to come down below. So I'm just going to cut. Well, is this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here. So we've got two already cut that are going to fit nicely with this. And then I've got a long one to cut across here. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue down one side of my pocket exactly where I want it. And I'm not going to get the very tip top at this point. Let's put it down on this side first. Get it where we want it. Let that fall. I don't want it quite that high. There we go. Okay, right about there I think is good. So let's burnish that down. Now I'm going to want this to go underneath. Now I think I think I can put it on top. Let me just look at that for a second. No, it won't line up. So yeah, it's going to have to go underneath. Can I get it underneath enough or do I need to cut it down a little bit more? Okay, as long as I am a little quick about it, I can slide it underneath because the glue is not dry yet. Like I said, this gives you a little bit more of a wiggle room and I'm putting a little bit of glue on the front here and I want that to line up just right so it looks all like one big piece of blue. And it looks like I got a little bit of, oh yeah, I can still open it. <laughs> so there, that glued down the rest of my pocket as well. Okay, that doesn't look exactly straight there. There. Much better, much better. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with this one. And we can lay it down before we lay the pocket down. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put glue on this. Let's see. You are recording and you can hear me. Yay! Okay, so we're going to line this up. Bring it down just a smidge. And there we go. Oh. Put this pocket down. And it's easy enough to get the bottom. Right like that. Oh, 
Okay, and then the top. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit so I can see both sides. And make a mark so that you know if you're going to cut it to the left of it, to the right of it, or right on it, whichever way works for you. And you know me in straight, not even on these little ones. So I'm putting it into my cutter. I think that's where I wanted to cut it. I can't for the life of me remember now. <laughs> oh, goodness. We had quite the... Um, quite the goings on this morning. I'm a little late getting in here. I mean, it's, it's afternoon time now. And uh, my son called and said, well, see, our, our dog Hooch came from his neighbors. Their dog, um, they didn't they didn't get her spayed, so she got pregnant. Um, after, and we took one of the puppies. And they had, they had, she had ten puppies, her first litter. That was, phew, wow, you know. But anyway, so, okay, so I've got this just the way it's going to be. And then this, I've already cut. And... It really should stand up like that, but this looks like it's maybe a vine coming off an arbor or something. So, and it should fit right in on top of the bottom hinge that's glued down. Just got to get it started in there. Come on. There we go. Um... So this is going to go, let's get this side in a little bit more, a little bit more, just like this. All right, so I'm just going to hold the bottom, pull this up. we go um so he called us this morning and said well i guess that dog next door had more puppies and she's pulling them underneath my house so he had to go underneath this house he said they looked like they were about a week old and um now he works second shift which goes from four to two in the morning something like that and so he specifically hasn't gotten a dog because he knows that he's not i mean he sleeps during the day um you know it's just it's just not ideal but He's been raised with us, I mean, obviously, my son, but um, we, we value all animals, and we think, I mean, we've, the Bible says we are put on this earth to care for all of his creations, okay? Well, whether you believe that or not, it's just the right thing to do. Um... And so he put them in his laundry room um, after he got them all out. He said one of the puppies did not make it. So I was so sorry he had to deal with that. And he, oh, you know, that just saddens my heart. Um... 
But anyway, so he's he's really, really very upset about the whole thing. The neighbors are not home. So he's got the mama and the seven pups now in his laundry room. He's going to work. And he's just all upset. And I don't, oops, I don't blame him. Because after the first litter of puppies, I, I guess the, the, the gentleman that, that had these, we, we did meet him briefly when we picked out Hooch, but um, he's not been employed for a while and his wife works and they've got two children, two or three children. And so times are tough, but my son offered to take her and get her spayed for them that he would do that and which we commended him for uh we've we've done that in the past for other people um we've had uh rescue dogs in our lives most most all of our lives but um okay so there it is so far and this is just going to be a page i believe i wonder if i want to Let's see. What do I what do I think of this yellow in here? Do I really like this yellow in here? I think it's kind of wow, don't you? <laughs> it is kind of yellow, isn't it? But um depending on what you put it with, I, I think it looks pretty good. And I do want this to be very bright and springy. But all of that is too small for this page. And I don't want to cut into my whole one. But I guess I, guess I could do the same thing. But I'm kind of liking the blue on everything. Um, so, let's see... All of these are going to be too small, so I need to look into my bigger pages. Unless I want to do... Hmm. I might just leave this one. And I might do a uh, collage. One collage on... On each page or I could just save the collages for the tags although there are a lot of tags in this collection so I don't know that I'll need to do that so I think I'm going to leave one page on each piece so that I can come back once I have more scraps I can come back and do a collage because I don't believe I have, let's see, I have this piece and this piece. Well, I'm, I actually might have enough for a collage. Um, that's what I have so far. I guess that's some white paper. That's what I have so far. And of course I do have this one and this one. But I don't think I want to use those on this. Okay. So let's see. See, I still don't have anything that's long enough. Of course, i got to do my blue. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to hold off on this one until I have some more bits and pieces to... Uh, to do that with. So there is our first page. So let's get this down. How exciting! Now, if, they, if these get um, really heavy, you might want to use some tape to just help in the, uh, you know, just, just to help it 
with a little bit more um yeah oh my goodness uh, this has got me so befuddled i can't i can't think of what i'm trying to say i'm sorry guys yeah and my poor son it, it just seems like when he gets when he gets something going and something in his in his head about you know okay this is where i'm headed this is what i'm doing and this is you know everything's starting to fall into place something always throws throws you know it messes it up bless his heart it's just he just can't seem to get things going for himself very well but he'll get there he was having to leave for work and I told him you know honey just shut the door and let it all fall right there at the doorstep just leave it go in do your job stay focused and you'll be fine worrying about it is not going to make it any better so you know and that that's usually my my thing anyway is you know don't don't worry about it do something about it but don't worry about it because worrying gets you nowhere absolutely nowhere now i didn't notice that i didn't get that lined up very well but it will be all right it's handmade <laughs> we can't we can't uh get have everything just perfect because we are not perfect now what did i do with my other sheets there there okay so i think i had this one going here and or was this one no and then this one was going here but what did i do with my blue oh for heaven's sakes really well i got this blue one here is there one in here yes okay so this is my blue for this one and this is my blue for this one let me just double check that this is lining up right yeah so this is the blue for this one so i'm gonna put that there okay so i am going to go ahead and glue down this blue for our next page so we can get There we go. So we can get our designer sheet cut. okay get those little tips down oh that didn't get okay and let's go ahead and do our blue strips okay so there is one let me 
got a little bit of excess on this corner from the I'm gonna cut that off if I can get it there we go all right so there's that one and let's see if it works on this side Wow it's too long on this side so somehow I didn't get this cut out straight but we'll make it work we don't have a problem with that do we guys we will make it work okay Okay, and let's see what we got now. Good. All right, so there's that. And then, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I can't get my mind off those puppies. I'm so sorry. I suppose I should just get off. <laughs> but but I'm also excited about this. I love this project. Um, and I tell you, with the... With all the papers that we're putting on here, these don't feel like envelopes anymore. These are pretty, pretty good uh, thickness of envelope anyway. So, um, I wasn't too worried about them being too flimsy, but, uh, I'm really liking it now and which I'm glad because like I said, I've got like 250 of these. Maybe when I open my Etsy shop, I will put some of these on. So maybe some of you guys can, uh, can partake of this funness as well. Um, I was going to try and open my Etsy shop in April, and I tell you, with everything going on, gardening, you know, it's just getting about time where I need to put my garden out. So I'm thinking May, the very beginning of May, I'm going to open my Etsy shop. So I do apologize for anybody who was excited, because I know I am, but it is a lot of work. And um, I am just doing the best I can and I was getting so overwhelmed that I decided you know this is really all supposed to be fun <laughs> even even though I'm opening a shop uh, if I'm overwhelming myself to the point that I'm exhausted I need something needs to give so yeah, so I just pushed back the date. And so that will give me more time. I, guys, I have literally have hundreds of things to put on there. And I would really like to, when I do this grand reopening, I would really like to knock everybody's socks off, if you know what I mean. So... Yeah, and and I will start giving you little previews and tidbits about stuff that's on there. But um, yeah, I'm just very, very excited about it. So very excited about it. All right. Let's get this cut where we want it. And... There we go. Getting more strips. Make sure this is exactly what we're looking for and then we'll take this and go and work on, let's see, it's definitely a, a titch crooked because I need to bring this down 
Yeah, it is definitely a titch crooked. But you know what, guys? We can save it. So, right. Actually, I'm not too... I'm not too upset about that side. Oh, you know what? It, it's all right. It's all right. It's a little, a little off here and here, but every place else is, is matching up pretty well. So I think I'm going to give myself a little bit of a cut. I'm not going to cut anything off this end. I'm just going to cut a little bit off this end. So I'm going to put this at the edge of the cutter where it won't cut off anything. And then I'm going to take this mark and put it on the cutter and cut from this way to this way. And it will give me just a little bit of a shavings off of this side of the paper so that I can make the upper part look a little better, but still keep this area <clears throat> looking good so when you're doing this though you don't want to use the um <clears throat> the guides that you would normally <coughs> i'm so sorry that you would normally put your paper in okay so that is how much i cut off and now let's see if I can get this to look a little nicer all the way around. Yeah, see, now I'm much better. Sorry, uh, my uh, video card got full, so I'm not exactly sure where I left off. So I have um, fixed this paper. I'm pretty sure we had that and got all of this blued up, so we're good there. I went ahead and chose... Um, this envelope and I started to uh, score it. If you have a line that you drew, you know, at least in one of your sections there, it helps when you're trying to line up a paper that won't go into the grooves, but you still need to uh, score it. You just put and you know it's the same line because you've got that line in there and it just makes it a lot easier. So you put it set up, set it up where it's making the score lines exactly where you want them. There we go. Okay, and then we just need these two. Yeah, she's got this as a nice, uh, you, you cut out all the little nibs and everything like you, like you would do normally when you are, uh, uh, using like a, a envelope punch or something so it's very nicely done turns out just the way it's supposed to all right now I'm not gluing it together because I'm going to use the bottom flap right here so the envelope is going to go right there and come down, okay? Um, would be better though, well no, because it'll be like this and then you can put things in. Let's see, how big is this? One, two, three, four, five and a quarter. So you'll be able to put, um, and then this way is, three and a half. So you'll be able to put like three and a half by five uh, photos in there. And I will probably put a couple of um, photo mats in there so that whomever gets this knows 
um, you know, knows what, what we're doing, what they're supposed to do with it. Or, you know, of course, they, whoever gets it can do anything they want with it. But if they want to put some photos in there, I will put some photo mats. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. If I wanted to... magnetize this I don't have enough room well maybe right here in the corners with a small magnet I do have some quite small magnets let's see oh wrong one I think I put my magnets over here Okay, let's see if these are going to be small enough. I like to order quite a few different sizes so that you have some options. These might just be small enough. Um, and I'll tell you how small these are. These are half a millimeter, 0.5. So 0.5 millimeters, or not that they sell them this way, but um, three eighths, just about. Okay, so one, two, three, four of them. There's three of them. <clears throat> and there's the fourth one. Whoops. I actually ended up with two. There we go. Oh, for heaven's sakes. These little suckers. All right. Put that away. Okay, so I do believe I have enough room. To put... right here in the corner <clears throat> I just don't want it to yeah I think I think that will work so whoop, hello let's get a little bit of glue on this spot right here And let that start absorbing. I'm going to hang it off the page just off of this piece, this uh, side piece, just a little bit. Just so I have more room with my paper. So about a third of it I'm hanging off the edge. And we're going to let that dry. And then it's it's not going to impede on oh wait a minute. That's not the size that side that goes down. Okay. I was thinking that made my well it is gonna make my pocket. This is the side I'm putting up underneath. Because I want this to be correct. Yeah. So then this is just making gonna make my pocket. So that's, that's good. We're going to leave those. And I think that will be very good. And it's, it's starting to dry up now. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So we have that. <clears throat> we have that pocket. And we could just put tags in the pocket or we can do something else. Um, why don't we do a small waterfall and on this sheet we're going to do an eighth of an inch gusset. So where we did, this is the part that's going to fold under our base sheet. I'm going to give myself a gusset. And we're going to do a waterfall and that will allow 
room for the waterfall to grow. All right, and I need my white paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's see here. I want to make them the almost the full length of this sheet. And this sheet is, let me put it here. This sheet is six inches or 15.2 um, centimeters. So I want to make this slightly smaller about like that and this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece. Well, <clears throat> let's see. Let me cut let me cut two together. And then I might have enough to do everything I want to do because it's not going to stay right there. I'm thinking maybe belly band. Okay. I want to measure how high this went up. Well, let me first, because I want my white flaps that are on this page, I want my white, <clears throat> uh, my white uh, belly band to be the exact same height. So first, I'm going to put a hinge. And, all righty, and then I'm going to make a mark where I'm going to put my next hinge. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this off at a half an inch. Okay. All right. So if I leave a little bit of blue. I have that at the same height. Good. Yep, same height. Okay, so I'm going to put this back over. <clears throat> and this will rest on the bottom. I believe that's where I put that one. Then I, yeah. Yeah, so this will rest on the bottom of the page. I know it's it's covering up all my beautiful stuff. <sighs> Let's see. Huh. Put another pocket on there. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and three quarters. I think I'm going to cut this down to five. Five. 
Yeah, and that way it will show a little bit more of my fun stuff, yet we will still get good picture mats. Okay, because these pages are a little smaller, so I need to go um, a little smaller scale. Um, can't always get the 4x6 pictures in, but a 4x5 picture is still not bad. You can usually cut off either a half inch on both sides or a whole inch on one side. It just all depends on how you are at taking pictures. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put this aside and just work on this. And now that I cut this down, I want to cut... See, where's my... Um, let's see... I think I can cut three. I want to cut all of these. I don't know if I need three. Let me put one of these back. There we go. Don't want to waste it. Okay. So let's get... where I want these cut. There we go. And we've got some nice long white strips now for something. Okay, so these should be the exact same size, and they are. So now I'm going to cut them at uh, four and three quarters. Let's see, four and three quarters. If I do four, it'll be three and a half by five. And that's, that's a good... And I'll get three of them. Four four, four out of 12. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do them at four inches so I can get six of them out of the two pages. And then the final product of each one of the waterfalls will be three and a half by five, which will be a very good, very good size, very good size. All right. So now we're going to take these half inch half inch Oh my goodness So my husband has finished <clears throat> well he's over doing the final polishing up on one of his knives that he made for a customer and uh, he's coming to pick it up this is the second knife this customer has ordered from him and he said that he thought he had a third order that he'd be giving him so my husband has been staying busy with this this one guy so um, yeah he's Let's see. He is having a ball. That is for sure. We found another person in town, in our town, which is very small, so it was really handy, that um, my husband had never worked with a uh, deer antler, and the guy that's getting this knife has uh, wanted deer antler for the handle. Um... So, uh, my, my husband's been, you know, practicing with, um, with a, a piece that somebody else had given us, just a little piece of one. So, he'd been drilling into it and filing it and dyeing it and just seeing what all he could do. Well, we found a gentleman in town that will make sheaths for his knives, and, um, but uh, he also makes knives. So, Steve was able to 
get some good information from him as to how you, you know, the ins and outs of dealing with a, <clears throat> excuse me, dealing with a, uh, the the horn the antler the horn so but he has done a beautiful job it is just beautiful if you call a knife that but this really is very pretty he likes to only make functional knives but he likes to make them pretty so uh yeah okay so all i did was line this up with the top and both sides just make sure it's lining up and then we're just going to keep putting them down and if i have to make more i'll make more i have a feeling i'm not going to have to but i'm just going to keep putting them down so you guys are finding out a lot about me and my husband <laughs> it's one thing i'm not very good at is opening up about myself that one wants to hang over a little bit it's perfect on this side a little off on this side so that only means that i'll be able to cut it off that's one nice thing about making the base piece of a waterfall the exact same size as the waterfalls because you can go back and clean up your lines if you need to uh, it's one way of, of uh, you know, I don't know if cheating is the right word, but it's a process that will allow you to make sure that you're getting a perfect, uh, a perfect looking waterfall. As perfect as you can get. Okay. Because we're not really looking for perfection because we know that we can't but we do try and it's the trying that is is the important thing we can't worry and you know until you've done it a couple of times let yourself make mistakes it's okay and I even now, I mean, I've been doing this for years and I make mistakes and it's okay. It's just paper. It's just paper. And, you know, you, you, paper, cardboard, glue, if you mess it up, you just either figure out a way with your ingenuity to make it work or... Tear it apart and do it again. Like my, my next finish up Friday piece that I'm doing. Um, I did that years ago and bound it and it was absolutely awful. The pages wouldn't lay down, nothing. I had made the binding, uh, the spine too small it was when i was just kind of learning all of it i made it too small and see is that okay so now this one is just ever i mean like a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom i am going to actually line it up across the bottom so whatever it comes on to this i'm not going to worry about because it, it literally is just about a sixteenth of an inch and that way it will be lined up along the bottom the way that I want it to be. So we cut out just enough and I wasn't keeping count. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we're lining this up along the bottom. I uh, make sure I've got that. No, I don't have that far enough over. There we go. And this one is almost. Okay, I believe that is right where I want it to be. Uh, 
Okay. And I think I'm going to take my ruler. Well, it's not making it real pretty because it is off of the, it's up in the ground, up on the, you know, on the, what do you call it? It's layered and it's not laying against the glass. So when I go to cut it, it's not wanting to do right. Now, let me see what I have here now. Catch these with my scissors. Okay, there we go. That looks good. All right. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Sorry. I took the dogs for a walk up, um, up our mountain hill thingy. <laughs> okay, these have dried and I believe that's going to give us a nice little edge. So I'm going to put glue right where I think you know, only up about so far. And then I'm going to put glue here. All right. Just holding it on the sides a little bit so it will have time to dry. Make sure I'm not gluing the envelope closed. Okay. There we go. Good. Get that smooch off there. So now this... Let me put this fold in. There we go. Now we have that nice eighth of an inch. And we're going to center this on there. center that on there oh that got under that's what was throwing it off this whole piece is going to sit on top of the big piece I'm not putting it around the bottom because um, it, it just it will throw everything off you can if you want to but I just think it will work better this way okay and then there is the envelope get that straight let's see okay there that looks pretty good and that looks pretty good All right, I'm going to flip this over and get the envelope. And 
and I'm leaving the waterfall in there so that it takes up this this space on the envelope make sure I have about the same distance maybe over just a smidge and then I'm only gluing it down to the edge of the fold the first fold so you have your gusset coming off of the paper okay let me fold this I mean let me burnish this down so I spread that glue around there we go now we also are going to have magnets to be putting in and I think again that looks pretty good just centering it on my envelope now and just making sure okay so I am going to go ahead and put these down well actually let me let me figure out what I'm going to put here and actually I think I'd like to have the same paper I don't know if I have it in the smaller papers but I'm just wondering if I have the same paper and align it in the same way if I can end up making the flowers look the same if you know what I'm saying so this is going to go here and then if I cut off uh, half an inch and then put these down it's going to continue the the picture all the way over including on this side yes that's what we're going to do so I'm going to cut off these two ends, cut off a half an inch, and then cut this to fit on this, leaving um, a small border. I am not going to put blue on these. I think that's too much uh, thickness for all of this. So um, uh, that one's a little rough right there. Let's see. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get that done and I'll be back with you.